from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. The road to We're underway. Both of these superstars know what's on the line tonight, and both of them would love to take the WWE Championship away from Orton. I think Orton is hoping they'll finish each other off. Oof, uh, right on the tape, across MVP's nose, like a bullseye. This could be bad. Wait, what's he doing? No, my God, bodies are everywhere. Cena has been number one contender more times than I can count. I'm not sure if that's a plus or a minus as he battles a very determined MVP. Superplex. They must have gotten 10 feet across the ring. Cena is kicking it into his famous fifth gear. I never cease to be amazed at how much energy and power Cena possesses. I'm not sure there's John Cena in firm control now. Cena hits the five knuckle shuffle. I think he's through playing around. Attitude adjustment. And here's a cover. One, two, three. Cena did it. Cena gets the win. With an impressive win over a very game MVP. John Cena is number one contender for the WWE Championship. And if you're Randy Orton, that's probably not the news you wanted to hear. It certainly isn't, King. Those two have had some epic matches, and it looks like Royal Rumble is the site of another one. Can John Cena once again rightfully call himself the champ at the Royal Rumble? John C. That was some war we had last week. Now I ain't mad that you won, because MVP looks good even when he loses. That was one hell of a match, MVP. Now that you're the number one contender, you can bet Orton has some things up his sleeve. Wouldn't mind helping you against him and his cronies? Come track me down. I have a plan to initiate a kind of preemptive strike. Sounds good. I'll swing by in a bit. Raw is live from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm Michael Cole, along with Jerry the King Lawler. You think you can help Cena get to Orton? You can't even help yourself. Is this a two-for-one sale on losers?
One daddy's boy down, one more to go. Go run home crying to your first-generation superstar daddies. This isn't over, Cena. You're never going to make it to the Royal Rumble. Well, you better come with more than that next time, pal. Randy didn't wait long before he started lobbing grenades, did he? And like usual, his plan didn't work out as he hoped. But he'll try again. And we'll beat him back again. Because you're going to stomp Orton at the Royal Rumble. If that means I gotta be your guardian angel until the Rumble... Well, I can handle that. Raw is live for the Big Apple. And King, I'm anxious to see what's going to happen after the event. Are you crazy, Cena? I've been accused of it a time or two. I just had Randy in my office telling me that you and MVP beat him up last week. What are you gonna do, ground me? So it's true. Well, since you and MVP enjoy ganging up on people so much, tonight you're getting a taste of your own medicine. The two of you are facing Legacy in a two-on-three handicap match. Look, Stephanie, you put whoever you want in there with Orton. I got something for him. And here's what I got for you. You ready for a little payback? After you. What the hell are you doing in here? Do I detect a hint of fear in your voice, Randy? Not so bad without your boys around, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. If you're gonna send your boys to someone's locker room to beat someone up, better make sure they do the job. And if you wanna not get caught, then don't use the same two guys you've been rolling with for years. Sounded like a good idea, though. Two guys busting in, beating a lesson into somebody. Mind if I copy you? You can't just barge in here and threaten. A threat? is nothing but words. We prefer actions. We'll see you later tonight, Randy. I don't know if one ring can handle all this animosity. Even the popcorn vendor is heading for the heels. He wants no part of this collision. Ooh. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. Ah, tremendous damage to the neck. John Cena's ground game is always to the point. Oh! Cody got his brain scrambled on that shot. Oh, ow! Cody controlling the waist. Cody might be counting sheep here. 
and he goes flying down to the concrete. He's left the ring. This could get interesting. Whoa. What a collision. The tag is made. Looks like he's having trouble staying in the ring. Would you look at the bravado shown by DiBiase? Or into the headlock. Two. And his back now has to be screaming in pain. Three. And there's the face buster. Come on, move it. Four. Five. Off the apron and down to the floor. Six. Ted DiBiase now. Keep your eye on Cena. Seven. This one could end in a count out. going to feel that one for a while. I think that was as much personal as it was trying to earn the victory. Oh! And he does it one more time. Devastating damage to the upper vertebrae. The loop has press, and would you look at those shots? might be out. Oh! Man, that was a vicious elbow drop. He's taking a beating. It's a good thing he has John Cena in firm control now. Cena hits the five knuckle shuffle. And he gets the tag. Oh, sent flying off the apron. Is Ted DiBiase too confident here, King? I don't think so. Ted's focused, and that's what he needs. One. A huge Bone jarring German suplex. Two. He drops the elbow. You hear Three. how his leg connected? I'm warning you, I will Oh no! Out. Man, his Four. head just bounced off the floor there. He makes the tag. Five. Are you surprised at all by the bravado on display here Six. by Cody? Not really. Cody has a right to be just as confident as any other superstar. And the ref continues to draw closer on, to the moment. count of ten. Eight. And he goes flying down to the concrete. He's going back outside. MVP One. from behind. Uh, he's got him. An impressive suplex. Two. MVP. Big time impact. And he crashes down to the Three. outside. MVP, 305 MVP's going to win. Cody doing a little mocking now. MVP has the headlock. And Rhodes caught that one full on. Ball in time, Michael. <laughs> MVP's elbow drop connects. And there's more damage to the abdomen. That has to make it incre- MVP, 305, MVP hits it again. Oh, no! Man, his head just bounced off the floor there. He thinks he has it. One, one, two, two, three, three! He did it. MVP wins.
outnumbered against one of the WWE's toughest factions ever. And these two came out on top. My crown is off to Cena and MVP. That was no small feat. It seems they have Orton's number, but knowing Randy, it's only a matter of time before he has his revenge. How will the Viper regroup? Stephanie, you need to control those two criminals. Oh, Randy. What are you talking about? Cena and MVP. They're running around, threatening me, trying to ambush me. They probably have traps set everywhere. You're a big boy. What do you want me to do about it? This is an unsafe work environment. I'm WWE Champion. There are threats against my life. I need round-the-clock security. As a businesswoman, you can't leave your biggest investment unprotected. Can you? I can, and I will. So far, Cena has done nothing to warrant my intervention. And until he does, you're facing him at the Royal Rumble. Now, if that's all... Fine. You obviously have some bias preventing you from acting sensibly. I'll go above your head on this one if I have to, Stephanie. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, live from Roanoke. Last week, WWE Champion... No, Seamus. I'm not interested. If I wanted to date livestock, I would have become a farmer. Don't you want the notoriety that comes with being seen with a future legend like myself? I think the lady made it clear that her type isn't the Loch Ness Monster, Seamus. Now, if you can't learn some manners, maybe I should step over there and teach you some.
stay back, Cena. Take one more step toward me and I'll have you thrown in jail. So testy. Seems like all these schemes are wearing on your nerves, Randy. You want schemes? Ask MVP. That guy will stab you in the back in a heartbeat. Why is he such a friend all of a sudden? MVP doesn't have it in him to do that. Not anymore. Then there's The Miz. I hear he's been looking to jump you. See, what you're doing right now is deflecting. Besides, The Miz? I ain't worried about him. I've beaten him more times than I can count. If you say so, Cena. I got this sneaking suspicion Orton's been around to fill your head with fables and fairy tales. You two are making my job a lot more difficult, and I'm getting a little tired of this. And what's your plan to deal with this, might I ask? Business as usual. I have so much... <coughs> Look, I don't have time to talk. Just pick your opponent tonight from the list of superstars without scheduled matches. I'll look at the menu. Sure. Hello? Yes, I understand. Mm hmm Yes. John Cena is taking on Dolph Ziggler, the opponent he handpicked tonight. Did he make the right choice, Ken? He may not be seven feet tall, but Ziggler is no pushover. Cena better bring everything he's got if he hopes to leave Roanoke with a win. Timber, <laughs> and he falls hard. <laughs> That'll leave a mark. Oh, look out! He's really going for it now. I think it's safe to say everyone in the WWE Universe knows Dolph Ziggler's name. Ever since his first televised match against Batista, he's been nothing short of impressive. Whether he's on Cena's level or not, we'll soon find out. Oh, a face buster! John Cena in firm control now. Shuffle. John Cena is rolling now against Ziggler. I'm sure he'd love to care. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. Right now, his speed's been neutralized. So what he has to do is figure out a way to pick up the pace. Attitude adjustment. Oh, my. Just raw, unmitigated power. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Two. And Ziggler kicks out at a count of two. He does it again. Oh, back to the head. Back to the temple. What a punch! This is it! Here he goes! Cena hits the five knuckle shuffle. Uh oh, Cena's going for it again. And Cena drives him to the ground. Attitude adjustment. One, One two, two, three, three. Dolph Ziggler got in the ring with a wild beast tonight, and his name is John Cena.
Well, we thought Orton's antics may have distracted the number one contender, but he looked razor sharp against a tough opponent tonight. I'm sure Randy Orton was watching this match from the locker room. It better be focused on his own match tonight, Michael. However, it'll be Cena and Orton for the WWE Championship in only six days at the Royal Rumble. Ted and Cody, why am I not surprised to see you here? Whoa, put the safety on, Loose Cannon. We're not here to fight. Yeah, th there's no need to get violent. We're just here to let you know that there's been a change of plans. Not as far as I know. The plan is, was, and will be this. I plan on dumping Orton on his head and walking out the WWE Champion. Well, that's going to be pretty hard when you hear the news, lunatic. Maybe you better go speak to Stefan. After you calm down, madman. The Royal Rumble has finally arrived here in our nation's capital. Tonight, 30 men get a dream. Keep this walking, John Cena. You will not attack Orton tonight. What's all this? We got orders not to let you anywhere near the WWE Champion. Well, you're gonna have trouble following these orders when I'm pinning him in that ring tonight. You have a problem? Talk to GM. Don't talk to us anymore. You have some explaining to do, Stephanie. Calm down, Cena. Look, Orton went over my head. After that alleged assault, Randy got a restraining order against you and MVP. There's nothing I can do. A restraining order? Now how is that gonna work? Check your calendar. My foot has an appointment with his cranium tonight. Not anymore, it doesn't. Your title shot is off. It's out of my hands. These two are here to make sure you don't try anything as you exit the arena. Please vacate the arena calmly, okay? Are you starting to believe Orton's lies? You think I'm some kind of maniac? Well, I'm not. I'll leave, quietly. But this ain't over. Look, Cena, you can't beat Randy. He's just too smart. And he asked us to leave you this reminder. You didn't want to leave without competition, yes?
I'll be on the ground, Sina. Kingston has the champion hurt. He may have come in as a last-minute replacement, but he could leave a champion. Oh, no. Cody Rhodes has sent Kofi crashing to the arena floor. It's a dirty tactic, but this is a no-disqualification match. That's just uncalled for. How can Kofi survive against this onslaught? That fight for Randy Orton has all the angles covered. WWE Champion, Randy Orton. This is a disgrace. Kofi and Orton really the man. Again, I'm not advocating his actions, but you have to expect those kind of things when you face Randy Orton. But how long will he have to endure this tyrannical reign as WWE Champion King? At least we have something else to look forward to. The Royal Rumble match is next. MVP has won the Royal Rumble. He's going to WrestleMania to take on the champion of his choosing. What a cap to a wild night, Michael. This is the craziest Royal Rumble I can remember. And what happened to John Cena? The number one contender has a restraining order against him. Cena got robbed, but he may be the one going to jail if he gets too close to Randy Orton. MVP is going to WrestleMania. Randy Orton looks more dominant than ever. Can he be stopped? Ladies and gentlemen, Raw has returned to Memphis, Tennessee, and we are one night removed. MVP, congratulations on winning the Royal Rumble, man. I caught the end of the pay-per-view at the hotel. Yo, I saw what they did to you. Stealing your title shot, escorting you out. Man, that wasn't right. That coward Orton can't run forever. I'll get my championship match. Maybe you won't have to wait so long to get some gold around your waist, Cena. I got an offer to take on the Unified Tag Team Champions on SmackDown, and I could use a partner. It's a non-title match, but I still figured you might be interested. You know it. I need to blow off some steam anyway. Stephanie McMahon. Just the general manager I'm looking for. You get my title shot worked out yet? Cena, you have no idea what it's like to do my job. And your antics don't make it any easier for me. You know I earned that title shot, and you're letting Randy Orton push you around? Here I thought you were a McMahon. 
I can give you a reminder that I'm a McMahon Cena. Look, tonight there's a mixed tag match that needs a spot filled. I'm putting you in it. You've got your match, now just go compete. You seem pretty stressed, Steph. You need a hug or a can of soup or something? Just leave, Cena. Just leave. Hey, Cena. I hear you're my tag partner tonight. Yeah, Mickey. That's what they tell me. Anything I need to know? Only that we're going up against the blondest, most conceited pair in WWE history. But with you on my side, I feel a whole lot better. One day after being stripped of his title shot, John Cena is back in the ring on Raw. A mixed tag wasn't exactly where we thought we'd end up tonight, Michael. What a crushing bulldog! Oh, she does it again! And that shot was dialed in. These two divas are going at it tooth and nail! Both are very accomplished in WWE, and each wants to exert her dominance. And there it is, the big kick! Mickey! Mickey hits the DDT! She's in bad shape here, she's got to make the tag. Oh, jeez! Knocked in the next week! Hooking the leg. One, She's two, in big trouble here. Three! Mickey did it! Cena and Mickey turn back their platinum opponents. But the real story here, Michael, is why Cena was just dropped in this match in the first place. I'm sure Stephanie has her reasons. She's not one to just make rash decisions. But Cena wants Orton, and I think all the WWE Universe wants to see it happen. Two of Raw's biggest stars are here at SmackDown to take on the reigning tag team champions, Truth and Consequences. This is going to be a non-title matchup, but if Cena and MVP can win here tonight, that'll send a huge message to all of SmackDown. Bam! And a jaw-jacking punch. Truth and consequences have really been running roughshod over the competition, but they haven't taken on a team of this ability level. John Cena and MVP are both high-caliber singles competitors, but they don't have much experience as a team. Still, they're doing well so far. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dear Lord, what a suplex! Knocked down, what a shot! It could be ball in time, Michael! MVP's elbow drop connects. Oh, the champions are in big trouble here. MVP 305, it's MVP's play of the day. Shoulders down. One, two, three. MVP, MVP did it. The hole is as great as the sum of its parts. Cena and MVP pick up the win. Up until now, Truth and Consequences has looked unstoppable. This isn't going to sit well with these two. Will Cena and MVP keep rolling, or was this a one-night-only pairing?
Greetings from Little Rock, Arkansas, where we're sold out for Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole. Well, well, if it isn't the unchained John Cena, I suppose you're here to get your revenge against me for the Royal Rumble. Yes, John, I screwed you. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna wait for the right time. Then I'm gonna beat you down and take your WWE Championship home at the same time. So what you're saying is you're too much of a coward to do anything to me right now. I guess it's happened, Cena. I've kicked you around for so long, you're actually starting to like it. Come on, John. After all I've done, you have no reaction? You're just gonna stand there looking stupid? I play you like some video game. And you just keep letting me score points. Doesn't it get tiring? To be outsmarted time after time? after time. Hit me, Cena. Where's your pride? I know your blood is boiling. I have the WWE Championship. I've outsmarted you at every corner. Hit me. Do it! Do it! Fine, Cena. You win. And here's what you win. Security! Security! John Cena's gone insane! Stay out of this, guys. It's between me and him. You saw him? He attacked me. He's not supposed to be within 20 feet of me. Take him away. Take him to jail. What the hell was that? Big things popping. John Cena stopping, MVP. Don't forget, I have a restraining order against you, too. Just go back the way you came. This doesn't concern you, unless you want to serve more time behind bars. Raw is live in Wichita, Kansas, and last week we were once again left in a state of shock. Thanks again for bailing me out of jail. I lost my cool last week. I'm not gonna blame you for lashing out against Orton. I was tempted to trade a night in jail for a chance to whoop that fool's butt too. But did you hear what Randy did? Somehow, he got Stephanie to step down as GM, and now Orton himself is claiming the job. The good news just keeps coming. Let's say we go have a look at the new GM ourselves. All right, ma'am. I'll see you there. Out 
on bail so soon? I was gone long enough for you to execute a coup? So you've heard. Good. Swing by my office and we'll discuss where John Cena fits in with my vision of Raw. I'm on my way. Welcome to my new office. I haven't changed it much. Yet. Are you gonna paint it yellow? You know, to match your spine? I'm probably not going to do that. But you can be sure changes are coming, Cena. But I'm a busy man and I've got a show to run. I'm not going to shirk my responsibilities like the old GM did. So, I'll give you your match for tonight. You and your little running buddy here will be in a match against... Hmm... Vladimir Kozlov and Ezekiel Jackson. You think we're scared of your two ogres, Randy? Since there's going to be some redesigning going on around here, let's make it an elimination-style tables match. I think that'll be a good way to kick off the age of GM Orton. Now be gone. You two boys are dismissed. One of the new Raw general managers, Randy Orton's first actions was making this match. He's wasting no time trying to remove his rivals. Going against Kozlov and Ezekiel is bad enough, but an elimination tables match? Oh no, watch out! Here he goes, out of the ring! He's got wood! And the knuckles connect. Watch out here! Oh no! And we might see someone get assaulted with those heavy steps. There's the suplex. And another table has entered the match. He's just brutalizing his opponent with that table. What a decapitating lariat. That'll cause some damage. Cena. Jackson's in trouble. What an impact from that kick. Oh, man. I think he's through playing around! Oh, wow. Five knuckles shuffle. John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment. And he gets laid out right on the table. Oh! Oh, and that one hurt his hand. Watch it. Ooh. Oh, mama. Directly on that table. You know, John Cena's no slouch when it comes to his ground game. Kozlov controlling the head. And there they go again, sent crashing to the outside. There's a table! There's all sorts of crazy stuff under the ring. And all of it can inflict a lot of damage on an opponent. That'll do some damage. Look at this. And he comes down on the table. There goes Ezekiel Jackson. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. An impressive suplex. Oh, 
And again, the opponent sent flying. Cena. The power of Cena. How in the world does he do it? He's got a nasty looking object in his hands. Oh no, look, look at those eyes. Evil thoughts have to be running through his mind. Here we go, outside of the ring, and there are no count outs in this match. And there's the face buster. John Cena in firm control now. And there's another five knuckle shuffle. Ah, look at this. He's still not through. Keep your eye on Cena. Wow, I don't think his opponent's getting up anytime soon. After a grueling battle, John Cena and MVP have emerged victorious. And neither man was eliminated. These two are definitely no joke. Well, I'm sure Randy Orton is not laughing in the general manager's office. What will Orton do to disrupt their growing momentum? Truth and Consequences are putting their titles on the line here against these two powerhouses. Seen an MVP beat them a few weeks ago, but they have to be fatigued after that nasty, destructive tables match that they just had on Raw. Oh! And that one hurt his hand, right in the kisser. And there's an overhand right. There's no question what Cena's thinking here. That's right. You can't see me. And Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckles shuffle. John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment. into the cover with the title on the line. Two, three. And John Cena, the champ, is here. These two Raw superstars have done it. They've become the new unified WWE Tag Team Champions. What an incredible display of heart by both of these men. They overcame some serious odds tonight. Beating truth and consequences is no easy feat. I'm sure John Cena and MVP will ride this momentum with them into Raw next Monday. Fellow movie star, John Cena. I've been doing research for my role as a sexy cop stud for 13 rounds, extra innings. While detectivating, I came across a constipation to commit a crime. I'm going to assume you mean conspiracy, Santino. Ah, very good, Cena. What I found is Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase are up to many things. Nothing I can arrest them for yet, but they will slip up. And when they do, Santino will be a spoke on the wheels of justice. Crime. It's everywhere. Detective Santino, he guards the night.
Monday Night Raw is live from Omaha. Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler welcome you. What are you still doing back here, Cena? Walk your skinny butt out to the ring. MVP is waiting on you. Okay. What's your problem, Mark? I've just been hearing some things about you, Cena. And they're not good things. Things sure have been smooth on Raw with Randy in charge. Yeah, I, I only wonder when he's going to give us permission to put that mad dog Cena down. Oh, hey, here's that psychopath Cena now. Sorry, we didn't see you there. You guys couldn't see me? <laughs> now there's a surprise. We see you now, and we'll beat you up now if you don't get out of here right now. Did you not hear us, Cena? Or are you that hungry for a beating? Randy said we could do this if you got out of line. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Maybe I'm a little bit crazy after all. ring so that can only mean one thing big things popping little things stopping so sit back relax and enjoy the view because the vip lounge is for people like me and all of you 
haven't always gotten along with authority. And joining me tonight is someone else who the man is trying to keep down. Please join me in welcoming John Cena! Thanks for having me, MVP. First time guest, long time viewer, love the show. And you're right, the man is trying to keep us down. Randy Orton is afraid either one of us is gonna snatch up his WWE Championship. He's so afraid, he made himself general manager. He's so afraid, he started buying extra strength diapers. <laughs> Wait, he's so afraid. Okay, that's enough. I won't have my employees disrespecting me, especially when they're a bunch of hypocrites. You both view me as the bad guy here. But little do you know, you're each much bigger enemies to each other than I could ever be. I mean, Cena, how many times has MVP tried to use you as a stepping stone? Tried to run you out of the WWE. Now wait a minute, Randy. I admit, I used to be pretty devious myself. But it was nothing compared to the level you've sunk to. And now you think Cena's your friend, MVP. Your partner. Well, he's not. But you don't have to take my word for it. MVP could more than compete with you, John. I bet he could even beat you. MVP doesn't have it in him to do that. Not anymore. Ouch, John. But regardless of your low opinion of MVP, I think he's a more worthy number one contender than you are. I ain't worried about him. I've beaten him more times than I can count. What did I tell you? Now hold on. See him. You're going to play me like that? I don't mean to interrupt, but I wanted to let you both know that you have matches at the Elimination Chamber. Against each other. In a last man standing match. You can settle your differences there. John Cena and the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, square off in our main event. Mark Henry and MVP were a team for some time, and Henry doesn't look too happy about what Cena said about his friend. Huge shot to the temple. Cena squeezing down on the head. <clears throat> Cena Nation had to like that one. Uh-oh, what are we going to see here? Just twisting the neck in a sickening way. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that did it. Oh, man, what a Russian leg sweep. Hey! Ooh. Oh, look at this. The world's strongest man is always dangerous. There's no question what Cena's thinking here. That's right. You can't see me. Five knuckles shuffle. Keep your eye on Cena. adjustment Cena makes the cover One, two, three. Cena did it Cena gets the win John Cena dodged a very dangerous obstacle right there in an angry Mark Henry I don't know whether Orton's footage is doctored or not but some superstars hit first and ask questions later 
And now it's Cena, an MVP, in a last man standing match. With all the turmoil that surrounds this match, who knows what's going to happen when these two meet in the ring. I can't wait to see what happens on Sunday, Michael. Friends or foes, they're going to lay it all on the line. MVP, Cena, will Elimination Chamber prove their destruction? Welcome, and thank you for joining us at Elimination Chamber, live from Hey, you know I didn't say those things. I saw it with my own eyes, Cena. Heard it with my own ears, too. And you know what? It doesn't matter anyway. Whether it's a conspiracy or not, it doesn't change the fact that we stand in each other's way. And it has to end tonight. You're right. On the road to WrestleMania, it's every man for himself. But understand this. I'm a man of my word. And I did not say those things. The bell is rung, and these two former partners are set to go to war. In this match, you have to beat your opponent so badly, they can't answer the referee's 10 count. Talk about brutal. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Hey! He's got the bell! Oh, the bell keeper's supposed to... Well, keep that. Oh, you heard the impact. Devastating shot with the bell. I'm sure just six days ago, neither of these two would have guessed they'd be in a match like this against each other. MVP was just welcoming Cena to the VIP lounge, and now Cena's welcoming MVP to some pain. A face buster! John Cena in firm control now. And Cena drives his fist down, five knuckles shuffle. You know, John Cena's no slouch when it comes to his ground game. In a shot to the solar plexus. What should MVP be looking to do now, King? Okay? Oh, geez. You know, these competitors are so evenly matched, I wouldn't even begin to guess at this point. And here comes Cena again. Cena hits the five knuckles shuffle. John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment. Oh, there's another hit. And that punch lands hard. He drops the elbow. Tez press, and the fists come raining down. Oh, ow! How about another one? Five knuckles shuffle. Five knuckles shuffle. John Cena fighting with all his will. And Cena hits another attitude adjustment. The force, my God. Another vicious shot with that foreign object. A 
textbook suplex. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. And Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckle shuffle. Keep your eye on Cena. And Cena drives him to the ground. Attitude adjustment. Cena wins. Cena wins. Well, this match was not John Cena's idea. It was Randy Orton's. He did what he had to do, beating MVP. But he's not too happy about it. Regardless of the circumstances, Cena had a job to do, and he did it well. Sometimes you have to do things in life you don't want to do. And that was the case tonight for Cena. Randy Orton orchestrated this whole thing in my eyes. He'll be competing later tonight. Will Raw's general manager leave St. Louis with the WWE Championship? Mr. Last Man Standing, I'm requesting you come to my office as soon as possible. Thank you for your compliance. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. The road to WrestleMania picks up steam here tonight in Tacoma, Washington. John, I've got to commend you on your great match last night. If it wasn't for my thrilling victory, it would have been the best match at Elimination Chamber. That's because I'm good at my job. Unlike the general manager of this place. I've missed your sense of humor while you've been legally mandated to remain 20 feet from me at all times. I already told MVP before, and I'm telling you now. Your match was so great that I'm going to let you two do it again. Tonight. And because I missed it live last night, I'm lifting the restraining order against you, so I can be the guest referee. What's your angle in all this, Randy? I didn't think you psychopaths were such skeptics. Tell you what, if you win, I'll give you a shot at my WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Consider it a verbal contract. These three will serve as witnesses. And what about MVP? My arrangement with him is none of your business. Continue to play your little games and spin your little webs, Randy. When all is said and done, I'll be standing over you with the title around my waist and your blood on my hands. Randy Orton has inserted himself in the middle of this match, much like the way he's driven a wedge between Cena and MVP over the past few weeks. There's got to be something up his sleeve, but what? I think there's more than just one thing, Michael, and I'm not talking about his arm. Just a fantastic suplex. Pain must that neck be in now? Oh. 
John Cena in firm control now. Cena hits the five knuckle shuffle. John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment. What should MVP be looking to do now, King? Oh, geez. You know, these competitors... Why isn't Randy counting this pin attempt? Why make yourself the ref if you're not going to do a referee's job? There's no telling what Randy Orton's motivation is for many of his actions, except they are all in the best interests of Randy Orton. Superplex, and both bodies land hard. Yow! Oh, man. How much damage did that cause to the neck? Oh, man. Targeting the ribs. Of and here comes Cena again. And Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckles shuffle. You call that a match? Here's what we're going to do. There's a chair in the rampway. I want one of you to get it and hit your opponent. Do it. Do it or you're fired. I'm or Don't do it, John. Now pin him. Here is your winner. And my opponent for WrestleMania. The psychopath, John Cena. I hate to say I told you so, MVP. I also hate to say this, but as Raw's GM, I am negating your Royal Rumble victory stipulation. If you want a title shot at WrestleMania, you'll have to do it for the World Heavyweight Championship. I can't believe Cena would do that. Maybe Randy Orton was right all along. And Orton stripping MVP of his WrestleMania title shot? Can he do that? Raw is coming to you live tonight from Portland, Oregon. We are just three weeks away from... Well, if it isn't my favorite chair-swinging madman, it was good to see the Killer Instinct return to you last week. But I hope you have some left for this week. I'm putting you in a match against Kofi Kingston. And just because I can, it's going to be a no-disqualification match. Go get him, Tiger. Now last week, when John Cena busted that chair over me, he did two things. One, he became Randy Orton's puppet. And two, he stole my title shot. Because let me tell you what John Cena is. He's a junkie, baby. The man's a junkie for the WWE Championship. He has to have it, and it don't matter what he gotta do to get it. Come on, MVP. I didn't have a choice last week. What about me? Orton told me he'd strip me of the shot I earned at WrestleMania if I lost. But I wasn't gonna sink that low. You could have stepped aside and let a brother get a title shot. Come on, Cena. You had your turn at the WWE Championship. MVP, I want that WWE Championship. That title belongs around my waist. 
I earned my title shot months ago by beating you. I didn't want to bust that chair over your head, but that was the only way I could get what's rightfully mine. Unfortunately, you got in the way. I'm sorry, but that's life. Hey, Cena. Look, player. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad tidings, but you know the unified WWE Tag Team Championship that you and MVP won a while back? Well, that has a defense clause, and you two haven't defended it since you won it. And with what happened last week, I doubt you'll be teaming up at any time soon. We're gonna have to strip you of the championships, player. There's a match on SmackDown this Friday to crown new champs. I'm really sorry. The ring isn't in here, Cena. Your opponent for tonight isn't in here. Just your boss. I guess I'm just so insane, I don't know where the ring is. I may snap at any second. If you do, the next second you'll find yourself out of a... <coughs> what is it? Oh, Mr. McMahon. Hello. Yes, I, I stripped MVP of the championship match. He... Yes, but Mr. Mc... Get out of here right now! Yes, sir, I... I see, sir, but... Yes, but I... Okay. Yes, sir. John Cena has put in another strange matchup. Under decree from GM Randy Orton. A no disqualification match. I don't know, Michael. Cena has already shown us that he's pretty good with a steel chair. His friend, MVP's forehead, can testify to that. A suplex like that takes a lot of power and delivers a lot of impact. Oh! Cena countered it! Cena has the arm. Now with complete control. Ouch! Nice reversal. A great reversal by Cena. And there's the face buster. There's no question what Cena's thinking here. That's right. You can't see me. And Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckles shuffle. What does Kofi need to do here, King? Listen, he has a speed advantage. So sooner or later, he's going to dodge or counter one of those moves. And if that happens, he's right back in it. John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. Cena drives him to the ground. Attitude adjustment. Cover here. One, two, three. Cena did it. Cena gets the win. John Cena has beaten one of Raw's most electrifying superstars. Is it just me? Or did he do more damage to Kofi than was really necessary to win the match? Now you're just seeing what you want to see, King. We're only a couple of weeks from John Cena's long-awaited WrestleMania showdown against WWE Champion Randy Orton. What will Cena do when he gets his hands on Orton?
lot of stories are going around the WWE Universe. Stories about how John Cena is a maniac. Don't lock eyes with John Cena. Don't leave raw meat out near John Cena. I'm here to tell you... Don't believe the hype. I want to give a shout out to Kofi Kingston. He was injured during our match last week. Well, that didn't happen because I went crazy. That's the risk we take when we get in this ring. And Kofi knew that risk. We all do. It's the price we pay to compete and entertain the greatest fans in the world. But all these people treat me like I'm dangerous. Like I'm out of control. I'm here to tell you that you're perfectly safe around me. That is, unless your name is Randy Orton. Randy, at WrestleMania, when I'm standing across the ring from you, you finally have to look me in the eyes. You're going to see dangerous. You're going to see crazy. And then... You're going to see a new WWE Champion. Freeze, citizen! Officer Santino on the jobber. Oh, it's you, John Chena. You can never be too careful. Crime is a sneaky little thief in the night. You've really embraced your role over there, uh, Officer Boyardee. Yes. I am Jake and the Fat Man all rolled into one. Those two criminal elements, DiBiase and Rhodes, use the cheats to win the tag team titles. But I don't know if it was up, up, down, down, or left, right, left, right. You and me, John Chena, we need to bring the pieces to the streets. You are my new deputy. You're a little nutty, Deputy Chena, but you get the results. Now get out of my office and arrest those two. I'm going to get a frame for mine. Maybe something with a lightning bolt, or an eagle. Cena, what are you doing in here? Look at you two. Gloating like you did something. You guys have had everything handed to you. Daddy's giant footsteps to follow in. Your own puppet master as general manager. And now you're bragging about titles you didn't even win? It's none of your business, Cena. I'm making it my business, Ted. You want those tag team titles? Well, I'm gonna make you earn them on superstars.
John Cena finds himself in another tough match tonight by way of Raw General Manager Randy Orton. And we find ourselves joined on commentary by Montel Vontavious Porter. Welcome, MVP. Thanks, Michael. It's nice to see John Cena without worrying about getting plastered with a chair. 15 feet of steel is a good security blanket. What do you think, MVP? Has Cena gotten nastier, or is it just a Randy Orton mind game? Does it matter? Really? John Cena in firm control now. And Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckles shuffle. This is it! Here he goes! Ooh. Attitude adjustment. Cena's doing a good job of keeping Evan Bourne grounded here. Evan Bourne needs to watch out. John Cena will do anything to win. What he needs to do is pick up so close, the superstar is... Cena could be escaping the cage. But Bourne is fast. I don't know if Cena will make it. Cena wins. Cena wins. John Cena has won this thrilling cage match against Devin Bourne. We'll see if Bourne needs an ambulance too. John Cena claims not to be trying to injure people, but week after week, the number of injuries he causes climbs higher and higher. At some point, he's going to have to answer for that. And it could be Randy Orton that does it. Or, you know, it could be someone else. Cena's on a big roll, but that means Randy Orton could be more motivated to try to flatten it before WrestleMania. What does Orton have in store for Cena? Rhodes and DiBiase, not long after their controversial title victory, are defending their championships here on Superstars. Cena's been borderline sadistic lately. Well, you have to be a bit of a sadist to listen to Santino. Ah, bam! Telegraphed and Cody reverses. That'll cause some damage, and that one hurt his hand. Cena and Santino are in firm... He's looking to put his opponent away right here! And, and Cena drives him to the ground. Attitude adjustment. And that, here's the pin. Title on the line. And he's in there trying to get something going for his partner. And he finally gets out of the ring. Says press. And now a flurry of punches. Cena's gonna take a chance! John Cena in firm control now. And now he's back out on the apron. Five knuckles shuffle. This is it. Here he goes. And Cena locks in the STF. And he finally gets out of the ring. John Cena, the champ, is here. Santino and John Cena are now the WWE Unified Tag Team Champions. Did you expect these two to mesh so well in the ring? Mesh? Santino's one-eighth of the team, tops. Cena was stripped of his title recently due to the breakup between him and MVP. Who would have thought he'd regain it so quickly? I gave up trying to figure out John Cena a long time ago, Michael. John Cena has one more Raw between him in his WrestleMania showdown with Randy Orton. Don't miss out on Monday. Raw 
is live in Los Angeles, and we're just six days away. Look, MVP is coming, coming out of the ring. Nobody can hold me, nobody can control me. I'm coming. I'm here to do my thing. I'm here to bring the pain. I'm never, ever going to change. Like Tropicana, I got the juice. All for the least to let. The WWE Universe is buzzing. Everyone's talking about WrestleMania. John Cena versus Randy Orton. The Psychopath versus the corrupt GM. But everybody forgot one little thing. Me. Montel Vontavious Porter. I won the Royal Rumble match, which meant I could name my title shot at WrestleMania. Now Randy Orton tried to use his GM powers to prevent that from happening, but I went to the one man above him, Mr. McMahon. I explained to the boss what happened, and he made an executive decision. So guess what? Orton? Cena? I'm coming, and neither one of you can stop me. In six days, I'm going to be the new WWE Champion, because MVP is balling. Very clever, MVP. It's not my fault you're not on the top of the food chain, Randy. Both you and Cena tried to use me to get what you wanted. Well, it's time I got mine. Don't blame me. I'm crazy, remember? MVP, you think you're the playmaker? Well, here's a little play for you. You and Cena are going to team up tonight. You're going to face Big Show and Sheamus. You and that Sheamus guy have a lot in common, Cena. Wait. I know you too well, Randy. What's the catch? The catch is I'm going to take something out of your own playbook. Remember the better than Utopia rules you cooked up against Cena a couple years ago? They're back. Except I'm calling them Age of Orton rules. And I'm giving them to your opponents. Wait, so that means we need to get a five count on them? Plus they don't have to worry about count outs or rope breaks, but we do? Yeah, I remember that. Deja vu all over again, huh, Cena? Enjoy your little trip down memory lane, and I'll enjoy you leaving my office right now. Cena and MVP, opponents at WrestleMania, are partners in this match. These two have hatred in their hearts for one another, and now have the odds stacked against them like this. Oh, that elbow's gotta hurt! He drops the elbow. Cena's gonna take a chance! Now the fist connects! And he tags out. Oh, the punch connects. The Luthes press. And would you look at those shots? Oh, wow. John Cena in firm control now.
and Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckle shuffle. A grazing shot there. He's really going for it now. Oh. oh, hard shot to the skull. Big right hand, right to the chin. Oh, what a shot. That'll leave a mark. Oh, and this one's spilling out of the ring. I'll tell you one thing, Michael. He can talk a good fight, and he can fight a good fight. Ooh. Oh, tremendous right hand to the temple. The ref gets absolutely flat. What a punch! Cena into the headlock. Watch it! That was like a freight train. Mama! And he gets level. And Cena locks in the STF. Cena and MVP are hanging in there against enormous odds. But they're gonna need a five count to beat him. Is that even possible? That'll do some damage. Oh, look out! Forget the bathroom scales, Michael. Big Show has to be weighed on the Richter scale. Oh! The team is working their game plan to perfection. Frequent tags have kept them fresh and in complete control of the match. One more time. And Cena locks in the STF. Oof! Sheamus had no Cena did it. Cena gets the win. John Cena and MVP somehow beat the odds. But in six days, these two will be adversaries, not partners. They both seek Randy Orton's WWE Championship at WrestleMania and have shown they'll do anything to win it. It seems like an eternity since Cena crushed MVP with a chair to earn his title shot. But MVP remembers, and Randy Orton lies in wait for both. It's WrestleMania this Sunday on Pay-Per-View. We are at the showcase of the Immortals, WrestleMania. This is Michael Cole along with Jerry. There it is! Oh, that did it! Elbow drop. Test press, and the fists come raining down. Ooh! Cena with the arm. Test press, and now a flurry of punches. Oh! Oh! Ow! Watch out here! Cena goes behind. Watch it! Watch it! Cena has the headlock. 
The loop has press. And would you look at those shots? Oh. Oh. Cena controlling the head. What an incredible suplex. There's no question what Cena's thinking here. That's right. You can't see me. And Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckles shuffle. Oh, and he fights out. Cena had to have been thinking attitude adjustment. Oh, man. Cena was just inches away there. Big blow to the back of the skull. Ouch! Mr. McMahon. He's wearing him down with a very effective submission hold. And he escapes the hold. And there's the face buster. Oh, it doesn't get more punishing than that. He's really going for it now. Bam! He's putting those educated feet to good use. Right down the neck. He drops the elbow. And here comes Cena again. And Cena's right on the money again. That'll cause some damage. John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. Cena drives him to the ground. Attitude adjustment. Hooks the leg. One, One two, two, three, three. Cena wins. Cena wins. Here's your winner. The match we've all waited to see has finally begun. Orton versus Cena versus MVP. With Randy's goons outside, Orton has essentially pinned in his challengers. However, they may work together against the champ. From the ring to the floor, Des Press and the fist come raining in. Kozlov! Oh, man! The force of Kozlov. Watch it! A vicious elbow drop delivered with a lot of force. Again. Orton escapes. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. Cody, crossroads. Randy Orton, a victim of his own dirty deeds. Orton squeezing down on the head. Oh. <laughs> Oh my, just raw, unmitigated power. Cena makes the cover. And there they go again, sent crashing to the outside. Ooh. This is it, here he goes! 
DiBiase, Dream Street. MVP is struggling to compete with these two multi-time world champions. He's definitely earned the right to be in there, though. And I'm sure he's going to keep fighting with everything in him. Crushing damage directly delivered to the back. He's not too keen on sharing the ring with his opponent. Shoulders down. Championship One, on the line. Two. Three. John Cena, the champ, is here. Cena did it against long odds and intense hardships. He is the new WWE Champion. And he won it with pure grit and determination. Not the insanity Orton claimed he had. MVP wasn't able to get the win tonight, but he shows respect to his opponent. Stop it, both of you. You're making me sick. I'll be damned if the two of you leave that ring on your own two feet. Not while I'm GM. Cody, Kozlov, get in there. Oh, no you don't, Randy. I think we've all had enough of your antics, Randy. John earned the WWE Championship, and I'm going to earn some satisfaction, too. Under authorization of the WWE Board of Directors, you are hereby stripped of the position of general manager effective immediately. I'm regaining the position, and believe me, you have a lot to answer for. John, I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, please. Carry on. What a finale to an unprecedented WrestleMania. John Cena has got back everything. Meanwhile, Randy Orton has lost everything. And based on what Stephanie said, I'm sure the bad news is just starting for him. The road to WrestleMania has come to an end, and John Cena stands triumphant. Thank you very much for joining us for this epic event. The champ is here. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, welcome to Monday Night Raw. The road to... We're underway. Both of these superstars know what's on the line tonight, and both of them would love to take the WWE Championship away from Orton. I think Orton is hoping they'll finish each other off. And he does it one more time. Cena has been number one contender more times than I can count. I'm not sure if that's a plus or a minus as he battles a very determined MVP. Huge impact delivered to the neck. John Cena's no slouch when it comes to his ground game. Look at this. Cena controlling the waist. Ooh. I think he's through playing around. Cena hits the five knuckle shuffle. Cena is kicking it in. Cena looking for something big. Oh, geez. You know, these competitors are so evenly matched, I wouldn't even begin to guess at this point. Attitude adjustment. This could do it. One, two, three. Cena did it. Cena gets the win.
with an impressive win over a very game MVP. John Cena is number one contender for the WWE Championship. And if you're Randy Orton, that's probably not the news you wanted to hear. It certainly isn't, King. Those two have had some epic matches, and it looks like Royal Rumble is the site of another one. Can John Cena once again rightfully call himself the champ at the Royal Rumble? John Cena. That was some war we had last week. Now I ain't mad that you won, because MVP looks good even when he loses. That was one hell of a match, MVP. Now that you're the number one contender, you can bet Orton has some things up his sleeve. Wouldn't mind helping you against him and his cronies? Come track me down. I have a plan to initiate a kind of preemptive strike. Sounds good. I'll swing by in a bit. Raw is live from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm Michael Cole, along with Jerry the King Lawler. Well, look who finally showed up, Ted. John, number one contender. Cena. The way I look at it, Cena, beating a chump like MVP doesn't give you the right to take on an icon like Randy Orton. The way I look at it, your time is through. Or at least it will be when we're done with you. The only thing you're going to be number one contender for is early retirement. I guess my evite to this party ended up in my junk folder. Think I'll join anyway. One daddy's boy down, one more to go.
Go run home crying to your first-generation superstar daddies. This isn't over, Cena. You're never going to make it to the Royal Rumble. Well, you better come with more than that next time, pal. Randy didn't wait long before he started lobbing grenades, did he? And like usual, his plan didn't work out as he hoped. But he'll try again. And we'll beat him back again. Because you're going to stomp Orton at the Royal Rumble. If that means I got to be your guardian angel until the Rumble, well, I can handle that. Raw is live for the Big Apple. And King, I'm anxious to see what's going to happen after the event. Are you crazy, Cena? I've been accused of it a time or two. I just had Randy in my office telling me that you and MVP beat him up last week. What are you gonna do, ground me? So it's true. Well, since you and MVP enjoy ganging up on people so much, tonight you're getting a taste of your own medicine. The two of you are facing Legacy in a two-on-three handicap match. Look, Stephanie. You put whoever you want in there with Orton. I got something for him. And here's what I got for you. You ready for a little payback? After you. What the hell are you doing in here? Do I detect a hint of fear in your voice, Randy? Not so bad without your boys around, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. If you're gonna send your boys to someone's locker room to beat someone up, better make sure they do the job. And if you wanna not get caught, then don't use the same two guys you've been rolling with for years. Sounded like a good idea, though. Two guys busting in, beating a lesson into somebody. Mind if I copy you? You can't just barge in here and threaten. A threat? is nothing but words. We prefer actions. We'll see you later tonight, Randy. I don't know if one ring can handle all this animosity. Oh, even the popcorn vendor is heading for the heels. He wants no part of this collision. How do you even call a move like that? The Lupez press. And would you look at those shots? Oh, that did it. Watch it. Oh, man, that was a sick thud when he hit the concrete. The face buster. John Cena in firm control now. Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckles shuffle. <laughs> Cena into the headlock. Oh, no. Hard shot and a nasty landing. Hold on. Where's he going? Drops the elbow. Ted DiBiase now working the mind games. Ooh. Oh! Six. Are we moments away from a countout? Come on, get back in the ring. Look at this hole. He may have him here. Oh! 
He's taking a beating. It's a good thing he has two partners to tag out to, provided he can reach Legacy's corner. And he powers out. One. Oh, big Irish whip right into that security wall. Oh, knocked into the middle of next week. Oh. That suplex was picture Three. perfect. Come on, move. It. Ouch! Would you look at the bravado shown by DBS? John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. Five. What a collision! Six. Oh, Orton's going to feel that one for a while. I think that was as much personal as it was trying to earn the victory. Oh boy, I think the referee is out of it. And a jaw jacking punch. And the knuckles connect. Reversed. The genetic coding in DiBiase knew exactly what to do. Uh-oh. John Cena may be kicking it into another gear. And now his partner comes in. What's he planning here? Is Ted DiBiase too confident here, King? I don't think so. It's focused, and that's what he needs. Off the apron and down to the floor. Just trying to go to his opponent into making a mistake here. Hard impact to the arm. And again, the mind games are played. Oh, sent flying off the apron. Oh, whipped into that barricade. Playing mind games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Oh, boy. Look at this! Six. And that punch lands hard. MVP, 305 MVP's gonna win. Seven. Oh, jeez! Knocked into next week! And he tosses his opponent to the ground. He drops the elbow. Pure power, just physically dominant. Ah, look at this! Wow, what a suplex! Bam! Oh, unloading with the right hand. A counter by DiBiase. Oh man, what impact from that suplex! That'll cause some damage. Good Lord, look at the fire in his eyes. And that one hurt his hand. It's MVP's play of the day. A sharp elbow drop. Watch it. Oh, man, that was a sick dud when he hit the concrete. Can he score the pin? One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. He did it. MVP wins. Outnumbered against one of the WWE's toughest factions ever, and these two came out on top. My crown is off to Cena and MVP. That was no small feat. It seems they have Orton's number, but knowing Randy, it's only a matter of time before he has his revenge. How will the Viper regroup?
Stephanie, you need to control those two criminals. Oh, Randy. What are you talking about? Cena and MVP. They're running around, threatening me, trying to ambush me. They probably have traps set everywhere. You're a big boy. What do you want me to do about it? This is an unsafe work environment. I'm WWE Champion. There are threats against my life. I need round-the-clock security. As a businesswoman, you can't leave your biggest investment unprotected. Can you? I can, and I will. So far, Cena has done nothing to warrant my intervention. And until he does, you're facing him at the Royal Rumble. Now, if that's all... Fine. You obviously have some bias preventing you from acting sensibly. I'll go above your head on this one if I have to, Stephanie. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, live from Roanoke. Last week, WWE Champion Randy Orton... You stay back, Cena. Take one more step toward me and I'll have you thrown in jail. So testy. Seems like all these schemes are wearing on your nerves, Randy. You want schemes? Ask MVP. That guy will stab you in the back in a heartbeat. Why is he such a friend all of a sudden? MVP doesn't have it in him to do that. Not anymore. Then there's The Miz. I hear he's been looking to jump you. See, what you're doing right now is deflecting. Besides, The Miz? <laughs> I ain't worried about him. I've beaten him more times than I can count. If you say so, Cena. I got this sneaking suspicion. Orton's been around to fill your head with fables and fairy tales. You two are making my job a lot more difficult, and I'm getting a little tired of this. And what's your plan to deal with this, might I ask? Business as usual. I have so much... <coughs> Look, I don't have time to talk. Just pick your opponent tonight from the list of superstars without scheduled matches. I'll look at the menu. Sure. Hello? Yes, I understand. Mm-hmm. Yes. Here's a throwback, John Cena taking on The Miz. I remember back when Miz claimed to beat Cena about six times in a row just because he made challenges that Cena didn't answer. Well, he's answering tonight. And he hits a big time leg drop. And he takes him down with a toss. Hey! Cena is certainly looking toward the rumble, but he's looking focused in there tonight. When you have Orton after you, it pays to sleep with one eye open. And Miz is crafty. He can make Cena pay if he gets distracted. Oh, 
wow. Oh. And the Miz gets out of it unscathed. Ooh. Dear Lord, what a suplex. There's no question what Cena's thinking here. That's right. You can't see me. Five knuckles shuffle. The Miz is really now. Cena's riding the crowd's energy, Michael. And with the wherewithal to escape, Cena nearly had him. Well, this guy's so quick, he just needs to get that motor going. John Cena, poised with the attitude adjustment. And Cena drives him to the ground. Attitude adjustment. Hooking the leg. One, two, three. Cena did it. Cena gets the win. Cena turned back the Miz, but this was no walk in the park for the number one contender. Miz put up a good fight, but Cena prevailed in thrilling fashion. I'm sure Randy Orton was watching this match from the locker room. He'd better be focused on his own match tonight, Michael. However, it'll be Cena and Orton for the WWE Championship in only six days at the Royal Rumble. Ted and Cody, why am I not surprised to see you here? Whoa, put the safety on, Loose Cannon. We're not here to fight. Yeah, th there's no need to get violent. We're just here to let you know that there's been a change of plans. Not as far as I know. The plan is, was, and will be this. I plan on dumping Orton on his head and walking out the WWE Champion. Well, that's going to be pretty hard when you hear the news, lunatic. Maybe you better go speak to Stefan. After you calm down, madman. The Royal Rumble has finally arrived here in our nation's capital. Tonight, 30 men get a dream. Keep this walking. John Cena, you will not attack Orton tonight. What's all this? We got orders not to let you anywhere near the WWE Champion. Well, you're gonna have trouble following these orders when I'm pinning him in that ring tonight. You have a problem? Talk to GM. Don't talk to us anymore. You have some explaining to do, Stephanie. Calm down, Cena. Look, Orton went over my head. After that alleged assault, Randy got a restraining order against you and MVP. There's nothing I can do. A restraining order? Now how is that gonna work? Check your calendar. My foot has an appointment with his cranium tonight. Not anymore, it doesn't. Your title shot is off. It's out of my hands. These two are here to make sure you don't try anything as you exit the arena. Please vacate the arena calmly, okay? I'm not going anywhere until I get my title shot. If your goons have a problem with that, then they can tell it to my fists. Orton was right. I'm sorry, Cena, but you're out of control. I have no choice. Steph. Put any damage I caused to the office on my tab.
Now you're in for some pain, Cena. That's right, sir. Just keep walking. You go straight to Garas. Look, Cena, you can't beat Randy. He's just too smart. And he asked us to leave you this reminder. You didn't want to leave without competition, yes? Now you're in for some pain, Cena.
Kingston as the champion hurt. He may have come in as a last minute replacement, but he could leave a champion. Oh no, Cody Rhodes has sent Kofi crashing to the arena floor. It's a dirty tactic, but this is a no disqualification match. That's just uncalled for. How can Kofi survive against this onslaught? That fight for Randy Orton has all the angles covered. WWE Champion, Randy Orton. This is a disgrace. Kofi and Orton really did this. Again, I'm not advocating his actions, but you have to expect those kind of things when you face Randy Orton. But how long will he have to endure this tyrannical reign as WWE Champion King? At least we have something else to look forward to. The Royal Rumble match is next. MVP has won the Royal Rumble. He's going to WrestleMania to take on the champion of his choosing. What a cap to a wild night, Michael. This is the craziest Royal Rumble I can remember. And what happened to John Cena? The number one contender has a restraining order against him. Cena got robbed, but he may be the one going to jail if he gets too close to Randy Orton. MVP is going to WrestleMania. Randy Orton looks more dominant than ever. Can he be stopped? Ladies and gentlemen, Raw has returned to Memphis, Tennessee, and we are one night removed. Stephanie McMahon, just the general manager I'm looking for. You get my title shot worked out yet? Cena, you have no idea what it's like to do my job. And your antics don't make it any easier for me. You know I earned that title shot, and you're letting Randy Orton push you around? Here I thought you were a McMahon. I can give you a reminder that I'm a McMahon, Cena. Look, tonight there's a mixed tag match that needs a spot filled. I'm putting you in it. You've got your match, now just go compete. You seem pretty stressed, Steph. You need a hug or a can of soup or something? Just leave, Cena. Just leave. Ah, oh, just disparaît. Hey, Cena. I hear you're my tag partner tonight. Yeah, Mickey. That's what they tell me. Anything I need to know? Only that we're going up against the blondest, most conceited pair in WWE history. But with you on my side, I feel a whole lot better. One day after being stripped of his title shot, John Cena is back in the ring on Raw. A mixed tag wasn't exactly where we thought we'd end up tonight, Michael. What a haymaker! A huge right hand! The kick connects. Divas are going at it tooth and nail. Both are very accomplished in WWE, and each wants to exert her dominance. He's seen it up. Here he comes. And now he's back out on the apron. And he makes the tag. about catching. 
catching a beating. Oh man, I think she's got an opportunity to win this match here. And there it is, the mid kick. Mickey. Mickey hits the DDT. She's in bad shape here. She's got to make the tag. Hooks the leg. One. One. And he finally gets out of the ring. And she drops like a sack of potatoes. Mickey wants to fly. There's the senton. And now he's back out on the apron. Oh, no. Hard shot now. Nasty landing. Into the cover, hooks the leg. One, She's in big trouble here. Two, two, three, three. Mickey James won a match. Cena and Mickey turn back their platinum opponents. But the real story here, Michael, is why Cena was just dropped in this match in the first place. I'm sure Stephanie has her reasons. She's not one to just make rash decisions. But Cena wants Orton, and I think all the WWE Universe wants to see it happen. from Little Rock, Arkansas, where we're sold out for Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole. Well, well, if it isn't the unchained John Cena, I suppose you're here to get your revenge against me for the Royal Rumble. Yes, John, I screwed you. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to wait for the right time, then I'm going to beat you down and take your WWE Championship home at the same time. So what you're saying is you're too much of a coward to do anything to me right now. I guess it's happened, Cena. I've kicked you around for so long, you're actually starting to like it. Come on, John. After all I've done, you have no reaction? You'll pay for that, Cena. Only after you do, Randy. Security! Security! John Cena's gone insane! Stay out of this, guys. It's between me and him. You saw him? He attacked me. He's not supposed to be within 20 feet of me. Take him away. Take him to jail. What the hell was that? Big things popping. John Cena stopping, MVP. Don't forget, I have a restraining order against you, too. Just go back the way you came. This doesn't concern you, unless you want to serve more time behind bars.
Raw is live in Wichita, Kansas. And last week, we were once again left in a state of shock. Thanks again for bailing me out of jail. I lost my cool last week. I'm not gonna blame you for lashing out against Orton. I was tempted to trade a night in jail for a chance to whoop that fool's butt too. But did you hear what Randy did? Somehow, he got Stephanie to step down as GM, and now Orton himself is claiming the job. The good news just keeps coming. Let's say we go have a look at the new GM ourselves. All right, ma'am. I'll see you there. so soon? I was gone long enough for you to execute a coup? So you've heard. Good. Swing by my office and we'll discuss where John Cena fits in with my vision of Raw. I'm on my way. Welcome to my new office. I haven't changed it much. Yet. Are you gonna paint it yellow? You know, to match your spine? I'm probably not going to do that. But you can be sure changes are coming, Cena. But I'm a busy man and I've got a show to run. I'm not going to shirk my responsibilities like the old GM did. So, I'll give you your match for tonight. You and your little running buddy here will be in a match against... Hmm... Vladimir Kozlov and Ezekiel Jackson. You think we're scared of your two ogres, Randy? Since there's going to be some redesigning going on around here, let's make it an elimination-style tables match. I think that'll be a good way to kick off the age of GM Orton. Now be gone. You two boys are dismissed. One of the new Raw General Managers, Randy Orton's first actions was making this match. He's wasting no time trying to remove his rivals. Going against Kozlov and Ezekiel is bad enough, but an elimination tables match? Oh, look at this. And he sends him flying to the outside. Now taking this match outside. The ref can only watch and observe here as there are no countouts. Talk about meeting of the minds. What's he doing? What's he doing with those steps? That one didn't land flush, but it did connect. Oh, mama. Uh oh. He's really going for it now. That'll do some damage. Oh. MVP has the headlock. Look out! Look out! There's the suplex. Oh, there it is! Cena controlling the head. Here he comes! Axe handle! This might... John Cena in firm control now. Oh, the punch connects. MVP. Squeezing down on the head. Cena hits the five-knuckle shuffle. That was an impressive... John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. And 
Cena drives him to the ground. Attitude adjustment. Good Lord, huge impact into that barrier. Oh, directly on that table. Kozlov's been eliminated. Ah, that'll leave a mark. I think I saw a two fly out. C Nation had to like that one. Oh no, his focus is turned to the announce table. And I think it's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. Ooh, that did it. Oh no, another face buster. And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks. John Cena in control. Pushed it up once more. And Cena hits another attitude adjustment. Ooh. Cena into the headlock. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. After a grueling battle, John Cena and MVP have emerged victorious. And neither man was eliminated. These two are definitely no joke. Well, I'm sure Randy Orton is not laughing in the general manager's office. What will Orton do to disrupt their growing momentum? Fellow movie star, John Chen. I've been doing research for my role as a sexy cop stud for 13 rounds, extra innings. While detectivating, I came across a constipation to commit a crime. I'm gonna assume you mean conspiracy, Santino. Ah, very good, Jenna. What I found is Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase are up to many things. Nothing I can arrest them for yet, but they will slip up. And when they do, Santino will be a spoke on the wheels of justice. Crime. It's everywhere. Detective Santino, he guards the night. Monday Night Raw is live from Omaha. Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler. ring so that can only mean one thing big things popping little things stopping so sit back relax and enjoy the view because the vip lounge is for people like me and all of you i haven't always gotten along with authority and joining me tonight is someone else who the man is trying to keep down please join me in welcoming john cena Thanks for having me, MVP. First time guest, long time viewer, love the show. And you're right, the man is trying to keep us down. Randy Orton is afraid either one of us is gonna snatch up his WWE Championship. He's so afraid, he made himself general manager. He's so afraid, he started buying extra strength diapers. <laughs> Wait, he's so afraid. Okay, that's enough. 
I won't have my employees disrespecting me, especially when they're a bunch of hypocrites. You both view me as the bad guy here. But little do you know, you're each much bigger enemies to each other than I could ever be. I mean, Cena, how many times has MVP tried to use you as a stepping stone? Tried to run you out of the WWE? Now wait a minute, Randy. I admit, I used to be pretty devious myself. But it was nothing compared to the level you've sunk to. And now you think Cena's your friend, MVP. Your partner. Well, he's not. But you don't have to take my word for it. MVP could more than compete with you, John. I bet he could even beat you. MVP doesn't have it in him to do that. Not anymore. Ouch, John. But regardless of your low opinion of MVP, I think he's a more worthy number one contender than you are. I ain't worried about him. I've beaten him more times than I can count. What did I tell you? Now hold on! Cena, you're gonna play me like that? I don't mean to interrupt, but I wanted to let you both know that you have matches at the Elimination Chamber. Against each other. In a last man standing match. You can settle your differences there. John Cena and the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, square off in our main event. Mark Henry and MVP were a team for some time, and Henry doesn't look too happy about what Cena said about his friend. And up the turnbuckle goes Cena. Oh! The neck isn't supposed to bend like that. Des Press, and the fist come raining down. The world's strongest man is always dangerous, but tonight he's extra motivated. I'm sure there's no question what Cena's thinking here. That's right, you can't see me. Cena hits the five knuckle shuffle. Cena's back is against the wall, but that's where he's most dangerous. Mark Henry, Cena looking for something big. Well look, this isn't his first rodeo. I mean, I don't think you could ever count him out of a match. Attitude adjustment. There's the pin. Can One, his opponent kick two, out? Three. Cena wins. Cena wins. John Cena dodged a very dangerous obstacle right there in an angry Mark Henry. I don't know whether Orton's footage is doctored or not, but some superstars hit first and ask questions later. And now it's Cena in MVP in a last man standing match. With all the turmoil that surrounds this match, who knows what's going to happen when these two meet in the ring. I can't wait to see what happens on Sunday, Michael. Friends or foes, they're going to lay it all on the line. MVP, Cena, will Elimination Chamber prove their destruction? Welcome, and thank you for joining us at Elimination Chamber Live. Hey, you know I didn't say those things. 
I saw it with my own eyes, Cena. Heard it with my own ears, too. And you know what? It doesn't matter anyway. Whether it's a conspiracy or not, it doesn't change the fact that we stand in each other's way. And it has to end tonight. You're right. On the road to WrestleMania, it's every man for himself. But understand this. I'm a man of my word. And I did not say those things. The bell is rung, and these two former partners are set to go to war. In this match, you have to beat your opponent so badly, they can't answer the referee's 10 count. Talk about brutal, and he's getting out of there. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. I'm sure just six days ago, neither of these two would have guessed they'd be in a match like this against each other. MVP was just welcoming Cena to the VIP lounge, and now Cena's welcoming MVP to some pain. And again, he gets struck with that object. What should MVP be looking to do? Now? John Cena in firm control now. Oh, geez. You know, these competitors are so evenly matched, I wouldn't even begin to guess at this point. Five knuckles shuffle. John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment. One, two, three, four. And there's another smack. The ref just got taken out. Come on. One. Oh, what an elbow drop. That's press, and now a flurry of punches. Oh, ow! One. How about another one? Five knuckles shuffle. Cena hits the five-knuckle shuffle. John Cena in control, hoisted up once more. And Cena hits another attitude adjustment. Bell rings again. This is it. Here he goes. Five knuckles shuffle. Uh oh, Cena's going for it again. And Cena drives him to the ground. Attitude adjustment. Cena did it. Cena gets the win. Well, this match was not John Cena's idea. It was Randy Orton's. He did what he had to do, beating MVP. But he's not too happy about it. Regardless of the circumstances, Cena had a job to do, and he did it well. Sometimes you have to do things in life you don't want to do. And that was the case tonight for Cena. Randy Orton orchestrated this whole thing in my eyes. He'll be competing later tonight. Will Raw's general manager leave St. Louis with the WWE Championship?
Mr. Last Man Standing, I'm requesting you come to my office as soon as possible. Thank you for your compliance. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. The road to WrestleMania picks up steam here tonight in Tacoma, Washington. John, I've got to commend you on your great match last night. If it wasn't for my thrilling victory, it would have been the best match at Elimination Chamber. That's because I'm good at my job. Unlike the general manager of this place. I've missed your sense of humor while you've been legally mandated to remain 20 feet from me at all times. I already told MVP before, and I'm telling you now. Your match was so great that I'm going to let you two do it again. Tonight. And because I missed it live last night, I'm lifting the restraining order against you, so I can be the guest referee. What's your angle in all this, Randy? I didn't think you psychopaths were such skeptics. Tell you what, if you win, I'll give you a shot at my WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Consider it a verbal contract. These three will serve as witnesses. And what about MVP? My arrangement with him is none of your business. Continue to play your little games and spin your little webs, Randy. When all is said and done, I'll be standing over you with the title around my waist and your blood on my hands. Randy Orton has inserted himself in the middle of this match, much like the way he's driven a wedge between Cena and MVP over the past few weeks. There's got to be something up his sleeve, but what? I think there's more than just one thing, Michael, and I'm not talking about his arm. And just tossing him to the ground. Oh! Ouch! Bam! Oh, look out! Watch out here! A textbook suplex. MVP wasn't ready for that. The Lufez press. And would you look at those shots? What should MVP be looking to do now, King? Oh, geez. You know, John Cena in firm control now. Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckles shuffle. I think he's through playing around. Attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment. Cena's going to win. You call that a match? Here's what we're going to do. There's a chair in the rampway. I want one of you to get it and hit your opponent. Do it. Do it or you're fired.
I'm ordering you to hit your opponent with the chair. Your career is on the line. Remember, there are no... Don't do it, Montel! Now pin him! Here is your winner, the man who wanted it most, MVP. I guess, I guess MVP just wanted it more. is coming to you live tonight from Portland, Oregon. We are just three weeks away from WrestleMania, ladies and gentlemen. Look, it's John Chenna, Mr. Movie Star. Boy, howdy. You look great tonight. No wonder you make the girls swoon. Why the kiss-up, Santino? Ha! Ah, no reason. There is no reason for the suspicion. See? If Santino was worried, why would I do something as relaxing as Whistle? See you later. Hey, Cena. I wanted to put you in a tag match tonight, but your usual partner just busted a chair over your head. Tough break. Instead, you'll be teaming with Santino. Against Sheamus and Big Show. Sure. Why not? Remember the better-than-utopia rules MVP used against you a while back? You mean where I needed a five count on my pinfalls? Where my opponents didn't need to worry about count outs or rope breaks? They're back. Except they're now Age of Orton rules. Should be fun. For me. John Cena and Santino were facing two big, angry monsters. Randy Orton sure knows how to make a match. Randy Orton has hatred in his heart for Cena and has stacked the odds against him like never before. He does it again. Oof. Sheamus comes up with a devastating counter. The C Nation had to like that one. There's no question what Cena is thinking here. That's right. You can't see me. Five knuckles shuffle. Oh, and he fights out. Cena had to have been thinking attitude adjustment. Oh, man. John Cena poised with the attitude adjustment. Oh. Attitude adjustment. Oh, no! Hooking the way. One, two, three, four, five! 
Cena wins. Cena wins. I don't know how Cena did it, but he, well, I mean his team, got the win here tonight. First Orton makes MVP turn on Cena. And now this, Randy Orton is just sadistic. He's just angering the tiger in the cage, Michael. John Cena is showing his hellbent on getting his hands on Randy Orton. Will Cena finally get his revenge next week? Welcome to Monday Night Raw. We're live from San Francisco. It seems like the whole Bay Area... The intra-brand battle royal is underway. And what a star-studded group it is. Kudos to Raw's general manager, Randy Orton, for putting this match together. Captain Charisma. Oh, he's coming back in. Christian's been eliminated. That'll cause some damage. And that one hurt his hand. Straight kick right to the head. Nothing fancy about that. The force, my God. Oh, man. He's still not through. He drops the elbow. MVP gets tossed out. He may be headed to WrestleMania, but he's not going in the winner's circle tonight. MVP's out. He just didn't have enough left to hang on. Three eliminations. He's making his presence felt in this match. And the collaboration works. Wow. The dead man was odds on favorite, but he's been tossed. Unbelievable the Undertaker's eliminated. The gold standard couldn't stand the heat, and he's been eliminated. John Cena won this big battle royal. He's riding a huge wave of momentum right now. Thank goodness he thought better of it. I can't shake the feeling that Randy Orton may have been behind this sequence of events. John Cena has Randy Orton in his crosshairs. Randy Orton has John Cena in his crosshairs. And MVP may hold all the cards. is live in Los Angeles and we're just six days away from the greatest spectacle of the year. Step aside, boys. Randy and I have catching up to do. None will pass. The door Especially locked for you, John Cena. Look, 
I found the key. I'll just see myself in then. Looks like you should have invested in better locks, Randy. Cena, what the hell are you doing here? I came here to tell you that you're putting me in that title match at WrestleMania. Are you crazy? Wait, yes, you clearly are. But why would I do that? Two reasons. One, that restraining order expired today. You should really invest in better legal counsel, Randy. And two, if you don't, I will wrap you up in the STF until you beg to put me in that match. Security! They're still napping. It's just you and me, boss. Now how about that promotion? You're doing things the hard way. You know that, right?
Give me that title match. Okay. Okay. You're in the match. Stop. I knew you'd come around, Randy. That's why you're such a good boss. You listen to your employees. See you at WrestleMania. Uh, turn that damn camera off! Welcome to WrestleMania. We're here live in Glendale, Arizona. And for months we've been... The match we've all waited to see has finally begun. Orton versus Cena versus End. The ref's out. Oh, and this one's spilling out of the ring. Oh, wow. DiBiase. DiBiase, Dream Street. Watch it. That was like a freight train. crash into the outside. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. Cody, crossroads. Cena from behind. Orton's in trouble. Just a fantastic suplex. Oh, no. And again, the opponent sent flying. Orton gets caught off guard. Drop. Watch it. He's thrown his opponent out of the ring again. Oh. Iron Curtain. MVP is struggling to compete with these two multi-time world champions. He's definitely earned the right to be in there, though. And I'm sure he's going to keep fighting with... This is it! Here he goes! Shuffle. Keep your eye on Cena. And Cena drives him to the ground. Attitude adjustment. Hooks the leg. One, two. And a kick out by MVP. Brutal. Another brutal face buster. An elbow. What an impact from the knee. Oh, and that one hurt his hand. Look at this. There's no question what Cena's thinking here. That's right. You can't see me. And Cena drives his fist down. Five knuckles shuffle. He sends his opponents flying to the outside. Cena's got him. adjustment you hear how his leg connected from the ring to the floor again no count outs these competitors can do whatever they want outside of the ring Ooh. his shoulders are down one one two two three three john cena 
The champ is here. Cena did it against long odds and intense hardships. He is the new WWE Champion. And he won it with pure grit and determination. Not the insanity Orton claimed he had. MVP wasn't able to get the win tonight, but he shows respect to his opponent. Stop it, both of you. You're making me sick. I'll be damned if the two of you leave that ring on your own two feet. Not while I'm GM. Cody, Kozlov, get in there. Oh, no you don't, Randy. I think we've all had enough of your antics, Randy. John earned the WWE Championship, and I'm going to earn some satisfaction, too. Under authorization of the WWE Board of Directors, you are hereby stripped of the position of General Manager effective immediately. I'm regaining the position, and believe me, you have a lot to answer for. John, I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration. Please, carry on. What a finale to an unprecedented WrestleMania. John Cena has got back everything. Meanwhile, Randy Orton has lost everything. And based on what Stephanie said, I'm sure the bad news is just starting for him. The road to WrestleMania has come to an end, and John Cena stands triumphant. Thank you very much for joining us for this epic event. The champ is here.